Hello and welcome to The Swinglish Adventure. This week, once again, we're back at it working on the van and the goal for this weekend is to finish off the bed platform. But first, a little recap on where we are so far. Yep, we're one step closer to finishing off the modular bed system in our little budget camper van. Our goal is to make a modular bed system that is easy to remove and reinstall whenever we need. We have the added challenges of being on a tight budget and needing to find space to fit a family of four in this really small camper van. So tag along as we finish off our modular bed system and prepare it for getting painted and carpeted. So up until now we've mostly been working on the back section, uh, which is obviously where the bed's going to be. At the moment we've built the frame which goes around on this side, we've got a divider in the middle and the other side of the frame here. This section is eventually going to be a pull-out unit which is going to come out to about here with a little countertop. You can make some coffee on in the morning, stuff like that. So this top bit we've actually got fixed in so we've got it screwed onto these horizontal beams, support beams on the bottom. So um, as you can see the top section slots into these little runners and it sits there really nice and solid. This section is what we're going to be working on this weekend. We're going to screw this down. As you can see, it's still just loose, but we've sort of cut it around the form of the van at least. And uh, yeah, that'll be screwed in by the end of the weekend. Just needs a little bit of extra support on the side near the door. Uh, and then if you come around here, we uh, can show you the other side. So as you can see, the, uh, the seats are folded down, um, but obviously when we're traveling, the seats are going to be up, the kids' seats are going to be here. And um, when we found our sort of spot for the night, these will fold down and this top section will pull across. Obviously it's not finished yet, but this is the general idea. Uh, there's a bit that sticks up on the other side so you can see it's not even, but we're going to cut a little hole out for that. But yeah, this is how big the bed's going to be. It's actually a full size double bed it's 160 by 200 centimeters so i think it's going to be plenty big enough to sleep us and two little babies definitely so obviously we need mattresses to go on top of the bed um and because we got the slide down bit of the bed we can't have one big mattress so we bought two 80 times 200 mattresses that we're gonna cut so we can fold them back together with the bed when we're out driving so it just folds down when we park for the night. <laughs> hey, you watching Papa work today? Who are you calling? Are you calling for some help? No. Okay. Is Papa doing a good job? No. Okay. Is it fun? No. Okay. So is it easy to work with the little helpers around then? Fun, isn't it? It's never quiet. No. It was a challenge that we knew yeah. we knew it was going to be like this yeah. from the beginning. It's just how it is when you've got kids. The only slightly annoying thing is when you have your day cut short. You know, when you're like, you can only, you can only work for a couple of hours when you thought you were going to have a full day. That mm. sort of thing. That's the only frustrating bit. Hey, at least we've not got kids that only want to sit in front of the TV or in front of an iPad or whatever. This bit that sits on top of the seats, as we thought it might be, is a bit unstable. So right now I'm building a little reinforcement thing under these bits, which are gonna be in there per more permanently. For this to sit on there, on this side, and then a sort of strap thing that's gonna come off here and suspend it a little bit there. So hopefully that's gonna be uh, pretty stable. And obviously you can see that yesterday we did a little hole there there's like a seat belt module that sits sticks up at the back so i'm confident that by the end of this weekend we've got three day weekend this weekend confident by the end of that we'll have a usable bed what have you been doing uh i've been sanding sanding stuff yeah I've been gluing sanding. stuff yeah been holding when you've been drilling yeah a very important job yeah uh, I have uh, been Instagramming, <laughs> which is where I got my phone. <laughs> also important. <laughs> no, but seriously then, uh, we've been sanding. 
Yeah. We've been, uh, well, you have been putting these on while I've been having the kids. Uh, and then I've been helping Sandin after. And that is for the extendable bed platform. Yeah, exactly. So it will rest on these, so it will have a bit more support. Exactly. Um, so we don't fall through the bed. Yeah. <laughs> My idea with this section, this is the sort of extendable uh, pull-out top bit for the bed, uh, which is going to go on top of the seats when the seats are folded down. The idea with this is to suspend it from the headrests here. These are really solid, so they should be able to take a little bit of weight at least, um, but it's not going to be sort of like load-bearing or anything like that. So it doesn't need to be like incredibly supportive, it's just to stop it from doing this. Uh, so much when we've got kids crawling all over it and stuff. So my idea for this bit is I've got this sort of sailing rope and um, these carabiners. Uh, speaking of these, actually, if you're a sort of outdoorsy person, if you, you know, go camping a lot or, you know, you've got a camper van or whatever, get yourself some of these. This was like a 10 pack off Amazon for like 140 crowns, like 10 quid or $14 or whatever. Uh, they're not super heavy duty ones. You can't climb with them or anything like that. Um, but they're really, really useful for camping and for being outdoors. Uh, and they're, you know, nice colours and stuff like that. So I'll leave a link in the description for those, but definitely worth getting. So my idea for this is just to um, drill a couple of holes. And then when we've stopped for the night, when we've pulled this out on top of the seats, uh, this is just going to click on there. So I'm hope hoping that it's going to be, uh, be decent enough. It's definitely going to be strong enough. Um, just hoping that it's a sort of you know, easy, simple solution for, for when we're out and about. And I think it is. I think it'll be good. I think it'll work well. All right, so that's how it turned out. Um, as you can see, I think it's a pretty okay solution. It's definitely simple. And obviously that's what we're trying to go for. You know, when we've found where we're gonna stay for the night, we want it to be as quick and as simple as possible to uh, sort of pull out the extendable bed bit and uh, and secure it so that it's uh, good enough to sleep on for the, for the evening. And I think, you know, this solution really works well. What are you thinking? I think it looks amazing. I get so excited to see this now, I just wanna go and sleep somewhere. I'm going to get the mattresses <laughs> yeah. sorted and go and sleep straight away. Yeah, I just, uh, I, could e I could even sleep here, like we're on my parents' garden and I just want to sleep here tonight just to try out. Yeah, that might be the premiere night anyway, staying yeah. over here yeah. so we can both have a glass of wine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think we've got excited babies as well. What are we thinking? It's brilliant. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it feels perfect. Yeah, it's brilliant. We're, uh, we're starting to get a bit excited now, aren't we? Yeah. Just wouldn't sleep in it now. Yeah, exactly. Charlie as well, I think. Yeah, I think so as well. <laughs> what do we need, Charlie? Do we need a mattress? Uh, yeah. What else do we need? The Volvo Tech, yeah. The Volvo Tech, yeah. The Volvo Duvet, yeah. Paw Patrol Duvet. Definitely. And they could, yeah. No, it's just. So easy to talk and discuss things, isn't it? <laughs> Say, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Say, love you. We will. <laughs> Say, tax and make care. Tax Say, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that? Can you say subscribe? Yeah. Go on then. Try it. Subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. Good job. I mean, you've got to do it now, haven't you? <laughs>